musical career began in the 60s and at 74 years old he still gets the crowd moving with his guitar playing his hit songs his song love featuring Jill Scott was nominated for a Grammy and the man himself is here with me now to join me and talk about his life and, and what he has coming up thank you so much for being here with thank me you for having me all right so first down. let's just take it back because some people don't know about your whole background. Uh, Tell us about your background and how you got started in music because mm -hmm. even from six years old mm -hmm. you were musically inclined, right? Absolutely, yes. Well, it's a long story, but we're going to make it short. <laughs> uh, when I was a little boy, about two years old, my mother used to take me to churches and uh, used to take me around to different houses, uh, little, little gatherings, house gatherings, you know, and uh, had me singing. We were singing gospel. And people was amazed at how I sang. I could hardly talk, but I, I could <laughs> at least I could sing, you know. And uh, yeah, you but, have a voice. You have a distinctive voice. Uh, thank you, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. And uh, I used to, uh, when I was about four, four or five years old, before we left from down uh, the country to move to Richmond, Virginia. Uh, I used to go. To, I used to watch the train. The train used to run right by our house. We live in a little shack by the railroad track, and I used to uh, beat on. Uh, I'd like, uh, you know, beat on anything I could find to beat uh -huh. on with the rhythm of the train going by. And every evening that man uh, in the caboose used to throw out a bag of food. He'd see me stand out there and feel <laughs> the, the grass as tall as I am. And uh, he see, he looked for this little boy standing out in the grass and he'd throw a big bag of food out there every evening. I wow. grabbed that bag and run in the house, mama, mama, mama. <laughs> and uh, uh, so during that time uh, when I was, in the church. Yeah, and I was, I was, uh, I learned to play piano a little bit when I was around seven years old, mm -hmm. and I played them till I was around thirteen, and that's when I, I, I left home. But uh, music uh, runs was, in your family, right? Yes, everybody. My mother could out sing. Everybody in the family, and everybody in my family could sing. Oh, okay. I, I, everybody. I mean, everybody <laughs> could sing or play some kind of instrument. So I've always been uh, around music, around uh, uh, instruments. Uh, pianos and accordions and harmonicas and, uh, and my mother uh, uh, she also played the uh, uh, she played piano too mm -hmm. and uh, so you know it, it was just in me you know and you had I classical up, training really before you know you got into go-go really. well my mother taught me uh, what little bit I know brought out what talent that I was born with mm -hmm. and before I got into the go-go thing you know I was musically inclined but I was deeply inclined with jazz and blues and uh, and gospel, mm -hmm. and, but uh, I wasn't good enough at that time to make uh, you know make a living at it. Well, you always you had it in you. You just had to it have it the, run out of you. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I did uh, I did a little uh, research on I wanted my own sound. I was playing with a group called the, the Los Latinos, and before that, I was playing with a group called uh, the um, Earls of Rhythm, mm -hmm. and uh, so. I was doing little cookouts in people's backyard, just me and my guitar, you know, mm -hmm. just acoustic guitar. And people used to invite me over to the house every weekend, and uh, they used to spread the word around. Chuck is coming over our house this weekend, man. Oh, we gonna be there, you know. And then the <laughs> next weekend, somebody, hey, Chuck, you can come to our house next week. Yeah, all you gotta do is feed me. So it was catching on to people. Right, and I started getting popular that way. And all you had to do was feed me and uh, <laughs> give me all the liquor. I was, I was drinking plenty. That's of all you charge. Just yeah, give me I a drink, meal. I drink plenty of liquor in them days. You know, <laughs> uh, I drinking like a fifth a day. You know? <laughs> and uh, so that's all I want. I ain't asking for no money. And so people kept advising me, said, Chuck, why don't you get in a band? I said, okay. Uh, so I got Yeah, how band. was that process of starting the band? Uh, well, you know, starting the band was very hard. Uh, and getting it together it took years to learn the different personalities of the musicians and how to, you know, how to approach them. And you can't approach everybody uh, the same, you know. Uh, it took me a lot of years to get that experience. But before that, when I was playing with... Uh, and you know, people's backyards, little cookout, uh, people 
was advising me to chuck once you get in a band. So I got in a band called the Earth Division. So when I got in that band, uh, I left there and I went with the Los Latinas, uh, Joe Mann and Thomas Smith. Mm -hmm. They, you know, I was raised up with these guys. And uh, Joe has always been uh, very talented. He, mm -hmm. You know, he's a Latin dancer and a Latin musician. But I didn't know all these years, we were kids together, seven years old, I didn't know that he was really Latin. You no. know? <laughs> yeah, I didn't know until. You just thought he had the moves. Right, right. <laughs> so uh, uh, when, when I left Joe's band, you know, uh, the reason I left Joe's band because he didn't, they, didn't, they didn't have the big drums. They had mm -hmm. all Latin percussion, you know. Mm -hmm. And I, I liked that sound. And I, I figured maybe I could get me a band together and I could, uh, I could steal some of that ingredients, you know. So you had the idea to put it together. Right, right. So that's where it came from, Joe Manning. So I give him all the credit in the world. He was a great inspiration to me. Because uh, people kept telling right. me, Chuck, you need to get your own band, you know? So that's what I did. And 1966, I started putting my own band together. Mm -hmm. And uh, about 1968, uh, we was playing regularly. I was playing out a place called Ebony Inn. We was playing out there for about $10 a night right. and all the barbecue and beer that, we, that they give us, you know? And uh, I wasn't looking for no money. I just wanted to get, to get you know, to right. get known. Right, you just like the music. And you right, just... right. So I named the group the Soul Searchers. You know, I was going to name myself the Soul Searcher. But I said, no, there's an ego thing happening there, and I don't right. want them to see that. Right. So, uh, but of course, you got to have some kind of ego in order to be, you know, in order to succeed, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have to have soul to play go-go. Absolutely. Have to have, it's a, it takes a special <laughs> type of drummer right. to play go-go. A Tell special us, type of drummer, yeah. yeah. what kind of drummer, um, well, you what, know, what makes a good drummer? Well, you know, a drummer don't, it don't have to be uh, a versatile drummer to play go-go. You don't have to be a great drummer. Just the feel itself, because that, that particular uh, uh, beat came from the old church that I used to go to when I was a kid. And it was real fast, you know, boom, mm, 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 like that, you know, people jump and shout, you know. Mm -hmm. And when I heard Grover Washington, Mr. Magic, he had that feel. He had that, that but it was, you know, nice and slow and groove. I said, oh, man, I like that, Mr. Magic. Mm -hmm. um, and who was your Mr. idol, Magic. though? Who was your idol growing up? Oh, my goodness, I had several <laughs> idols, you know. I go all the way back to people like Blind Boy Phillip, uh, Screaming Jay Hawkins, uh, uh, Guitar Slim, uh, Muddy Waters, uh, mm -hmm. Charlie Christian, uh, Bonnie, uh, Bonnie, uh, Bonnie Kessel, uh, uh, people like, uh, uh, of course, Wes Montgomery and B.B. King, you know, blues and jazz, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and of course, George Benson. Mm -hmm. I had the pleasure of meeting him and, uh, uh, out in California when I was recording out there, and he came to the studio every day and bought me a fifth. <laughs> 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 and. Uh, uh, I got a lot of inspiration from him I and mean, a lot of encouragement, you know. He said, your timing is impeccable. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, but my plan has to <laughs> catch up with my timing. It's got to be equalized with my timing. But uh, anyway, uh, well, after my, my true favorite uh, guitar player, uh, out of all the big professionals that I love so well, there's a young man here in this town named Bobby Parker. Mm-hmm. I saw him when he was 16 years old uh, on the Howard uh, stage, Howard Theaters. Mm -hmm. see? And he was playing with uh, uh, Paul Williams' band. And uh, he also played with Rick Henderson's band. And so, I mean, I said to myself, this young man here, yeah, if I ever decide to straighten up, stop <laughs> going to jail, I'm, I'm going to learn how to play like that, you know? And uh, Bob and I have been very good, close friends. He, Taught me a lot. Yeah. He's given me a lot of inspiration. You know? So he's Been my a good favorite. Friend. Yes, he's my favorite uh, guitar player, whether it's blues or jazz. So. Well, what I, what do you think the state of music is now? Well, uh, it's modernistic, I would say. Uh, the young people are taking it to a different direction. Uh, as far as go-go is concerned, the young bands that are coming out now, uh, they're taking go-go to another a level, you know. How does it feel to be a mentor to so many bands, so many other go-go bands? The Backyard Band, Rare Essence. Yeah, Essays. I love them. Yeah, How does yeah. it feel to be a, a mentor to them? It's, what kind of advice do you give to musicians coming up? I, I'm telling you, stay focused. Uh, concentrate on, try to stay on the positive side of go-go. You know, not because sometimes, you know, it can get a little out of hand. Just like uh, rap or the other type, you know, gangster rap and stuff. Uh, but, you know, go-go is not, it's not a violent 
Of course, none of it is violent, but what I'm saying is that... Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be go. fun. It's right. to make you dance, this not have I'm violence. Saying. Right, right. So this is, this is what, what it's all about. This is what we're about. 1966, when I started my band, I had four members. I started off with four members. Uh, Lloyd Pinchback, uh, Frank Wellman, uh, John Ewell, mm -hmm. and myself. So, so those are the original uh, right. soul searchers. And, okay. uh, but every, you know, it's, everybody else was just you know, added into the group. So tell me but about your, um, your birthday party coming up. Oh, that's going to be great. I, I, you're turning 75. Yes, ma'am. You don't yeah. seem like it when you're on stage. <laughs> no, no. When I hit that stage, I become enraged and I forget about my age, you know. I, <laughs> well, tell I feel your, I'm on the right page. Your <laughs> one tip, if you can tell us how you keep yourself, you know, young, youthful on stage, if you can tell us one thing. Well, uh, my wife is a nurse and uh, she quit working 17 years ago just to take care of me and the kids. I got four beautiful kids and six grandchildren, you know, and uh, that's all she does is take care of us. And, you know, she gives me my medication on time, arthritis, uh, whatever I have. I don't stay that, I'm, I don't feel that young. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, I, you know, most of the time I feel good. Mm -hmm. But you're still, really you're still going. Family yeah. keeps you together. Yes, indeed. That's right, what thank it is. You. God and my family. So much for stopping by A Different Look with us today. Thank it's you a for pleasure having. to have you. Thank you for having me. Okay, to keep up with Chuck, be sure to visit his website at www.windmeupchuck.com. And after you do that, send me your show ideas by emailing ctv at pgctv.org and enter A Different Look into the subject line. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.